Hello and welcome to episode 44 of my Working with Evernote series. And in this week's episode, I want to show you a little trick on how to merge your notes together. Well, actually, it's not a trick. It's actually a feature of Evernote. And this is a response to a viewer's question that came in a couple of weeks ago about having uh, two notes that are link, uh, that are actually linked together that you want to merge those notes together. And Evernote does this really, really well. And I really enjoy uh, moving notes together. So what I want to do today is to show you how to merge these notes. Now, this can easily come about because throughout the day you're capturing stuff, you're capturing ideas. It's always coming into your head and you just bang, 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 another new note, bang, 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 another new note. And then at the end of the day or the end of the week when you do your inbox processing, you suddenly find that you've got a number of notes that are actually the same topic but different ideas. So uh, what you can do in Evernote is you can actually merge these notes together without having to use copy and paste and other complicated, well, maybe not so complicated, but other ways of putting things together. So in this week's episode, I want to show you how to do this. So uh, we'll get straight into this. But before we go into that, I just want to ask, uh, tell you guys, um, there is a Facebook group that I'm a member of called Productivity in Tech. I'll put the link in the comments section or in the notes section below. Uh, Productivity in Tech is a community of anybody who's using technology for their productivity, and that could be Evernote, it could be Todoist, but it could also be Wonderlist, OmniFocus, or whatever uh, technology that you're using for your productivity. And it's run by a wonderful guy called Jay Miller, and I contribute in there, people are asking questions and answering questions about different things like email and various other things that you are related to the way we work. It's a Facebook group. It's really, really good and I highly recommend it. So please uh, take some time now to, to join the group. It's a wonderful group, um, very, very active. There's some amazing people on there who will be able to answer pretty much all your questions on technology that's and, and productivity. So just I wanted to put that one in because I love this group. I've been part of it since it began and it's there's such an amazing group of people on there. So please guys join the Productivity in Tech Facebook group. I've got a link in the notes below. So have a time to join. Have a look and have a, and join our group. And I'm, I'm sure if you have any questions at all related to anything to do with technology and productivity, there's always some amazing people out there who'll be able to answer your question. Okay, now let's get straight into this. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to merge two notes together. Okay, so let's go. Okay, so here we have my uh, Evernote open. And if I go down to the bottom here, um, I have, let's just say I wanted this note uh, and I wanted to add this note into, uh, say, this note. So what I would normally do, or what you would think the logical thing to do, is to copy this, um, copy this, so I can go down here, uh, so, uh, no. I can copy this note, and I can then, and then I can move it into this one, um, if I wanted to. But there is a much, much simpler way. So I'm going to go into my inbox because I created a test note for this. So let's just say that I wanted to link this note and this note together. I just wanted to copy them. So what you would do is you would actually select both notes uh, like that and you'll come up with this um, dialog box. Now you can share the notes, you can save the attachments, you can create a table of contents, you can start a presentation or you can move to a specific notebook or you could add the tags. But what you'll notice is up here, you've got the merge. So if you click on merge, bang, it merges the notes together. So now what I've got is, this is a new test note. Now, the thing is, there was nothing in that. Um, so I can actually just add this note in. And then I've got the original article there. Uh, and this is a really, really good way of just merging two notes together. So um, again, if you just click on two notes and then you move, click on merge, it'll bring the two notes together uh, and it does it in a very, very good way. Now I'll show you a note. This That wasn't the best way to show you, but if I go into my incubator, you can see it from here. My pure GTD project to doist is down here. Uh, and then I've got this second note, which is pure GTD project. I realized there was two notes here that really were linked. But I love the way that Evernote um, highlights the, the title so I can see the two notes 
I can see who they are. If I wanted to, I can get rid of that and I can just have this as one note. But I actually quite like the idea that the notes are merged like this, so I wouldn't actually change it. But anyway, that's basically how you would do it. You would just uh, click on the two notes that you want to merge or three notes or four notes or however many notes you want to merge and click on the merge button. So uh, I'm going to show you again. So I can click on this merge button here and it will bring the two notes together. Okay, hopefully you found that useful and I'm, I'm very happy that I've been able to answer a question, a viewer's question on this. So if you do have any questions about doing something in Evernote or Todoist, please don't forget to leave a comment in, or please ask your question in the comment section below. And finally, I would like to say, please guys, don't forget my Todoist book has, is out there for those of you who use Todoist a fantastic book that has all the things that you need to know, tips and tricks, the whys and the wherefores of actually getting uh, to do it up and working for you. There is a whole chapter on Evernote so and how you can use Evernote with Todoist. So hopefully you'll buy a copy of that and uh, help me to keep these videos coming out. So I just want to wish you all now a very, very productive week and I'll see you in the next episode.